Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is brought to you by Sundays for Dogs. Sundays for Dogs. Sundays is air dried dog food made from a short list of human grade ingredients. Sundays was co founded by Dr. Tori, an actual practicing veterinarian. Sundays contains 90% meat, 10% vegetables, and 0% synthetic nutrients. As you can see here, my dog Lucy absolutely loves Sundays. And it makes me feel good knowing I'm feeding here a high quality dog food each and every day. The best part about Sundays is it's extremely convenient. They ship it directly to your doorstep. And unlike other fresh dog food, Sundays is zero prep, zero mess, and zero stress. Sundays is shelf stable, which makes it easy to feed your pup top quality food. And like I said, they ship directly to your door so you never have to worry about running out of food. And Sundays cost 40% less than other healthy dog foods because they don't waste money shipping frozen packages. Instead, they spend on what matters, sourcing the best all natural ingredients for your pup. So click the link down in the description down below and go to sundaysfordogs.com slash flare and you get 35% off your very first order of Sundays. Link down in the description down below. Huge shout out to Sundays for sponsoring today's video. It's brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to do what I do every single day, which makes it easy for you guys at home to enjoy. So that being said, let's get back to the video. Alrighty folks, we got a huge problem. The raccoons figured out there's hella chickens living right here. Rick and Dale, you're not doing your job. You're supposed to protect. We have a huge problem. Not only do we have a deceased chicken right there that we just found, but I started to glance over and look at them feathers that are all drug out through there. Something got in the chicken coop last night. This is not good. Oh, like, look at all this. Feathers, feathers, more feathers. Look at all these. Something got in and absolutely, oh rip, hang on, rip. Dude, oh my God, we got screwed last night. Look at this. Oh my God, look at all the feathers. You see them? Another one? I mean, we got, That's three at least. dude, we got annihilated last night. This is not good. There's more down here. There's more down there. Okay, all right, boys. I, I told you, it would happen eventually. This is freaking war. You see, you saw a whole chicken? Yeah, this, this dead? This one right here, it's like a whole, that's one of the black ones. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Rick, what the hell? So here's what we, here's, it could be a coincidence. It could be a coincidence. But since this guy acted like he was on his deathbed, the vet suggested that we basically keep him away from some of the other big animals for a little while until he gains his health back. Ever since we took Ralph, Carol, the donkeys, Carlos, and put them on the other side, we started losing chickens. This would be, well, this would be like the second incident, I guess. But the first time we weren't too, really. Is she itching or is she tangled? No, I think she's really? Oh no, she's good. She's just hanging out. The first chicken we ever lost, you guys saw that video, it was like a day or two after we put the big animals out on pasture. Now, we got absolutely annihilated last night. Okay, we got ambushed, we got assaulted, we got destroyed. Chickens, what happened last night? Yeah, we have a problem. I'm gonna go in the coop and see this could get a little graphic. I don't know what we got going on in here. All right, it looks like something got Western. Okay, we don't have any eggs, so that's not good. That means something got, what is wrong? Like, why is that all? I mean, it looks like we got bombed last night. There's like, why is this down like this? Are they living up there, you think? Like, what the heck? Like, why would this look like this? It doesn't really make any sense. Oh, oh, oh. What's going on in here? This, dude, this is like torn to, like this was tore up like this. What? Do you think the raccoons tried to go up there? Really? We don't really. Ooh. My bad. We don't really need this. This is insulation for the winter, which we don't, we're just gonna let that one just. <coughs> we're gonna let that air out for a bit. Hey, there's no eggs though. I think they ate all the eggs. Whatever got in, all, whatever got in, ate all the eggs. I was like, God dang, son. We're... So the fact, like, my guess is the reason why that was act is something got in the coop. The chickens were flying and bobbing, trying to get away from whatever got in there, and that's why this thing fell through. All right, we're going in, boys. All right, we gotta see, we gotta assess the damage here. The one thing you gotta look for is some some scat. We have to figure out what it is. If it's a raccoon. I was gonna say, I was, I was just gonna say, what if something's living up there? I mean, they might be. What happened last night? So they came and ate the eggs. They took out at least, at least two. 
But to be honest, it looks like three chickens because you got the one on the road, you have the one in the ditch, and then you've got one right here. Now this door does not close. Again, we never really had any issues because I thought there's no way a raccoon is going to go inside the big animal pen to get in here. Well, it's not really the big animal pen anymore because there's no big animals in there besides Rick. And apparently he just doesn't care. They definitely got one in here. Like, yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying, dude. Yeah. Like, they, they would have, they had to have come in here, killed them, and drug them out. Like, dude, what if, the, what if the Ricky is just up there? Wouldn't that be crazy? What happened? I don't know either. Hang on, this might be scat. This might be scat. I don't think that's chicken scat, is it? That looks wet. That looks fresh. No, that's still coon there. That's coon turtle. Really? Yep. So the raccoons... Are living in the hen house. Yeah, they're in the hen house, boys. Yeah, this is not good. Like, this is not good at all. I mean, they're... We got, I mean, just straight up assaulted last night. Holy... I gotta get out of here before I get freaking lung cancer or something. That's... <laughs> but this guy's picked clean. There was one in the woods over there. And then this corner. I mean, dude, there's... These are... I mean, these feathers are everywhere, dude. Holy... I mean, look at these right here. There's no coon living up there. No, you check? I checked. Okay. How many chickens we got left? Holy smokes. I mean, God. Rick, you're supposed to protect. You're supposed to protect, Rick. It looks like a lot of them are gone. Like, I don't see the rooster. Oh, where's I don't the see rooster? Uh-oh. I don't see any of them. Hey, I'm going to go. Let me go in. What if we go inside the pen? I want to see if there's any sign of anything ba like back here. Any more carcasses, maybe. We are definitely missing... A chicken. good bunch of chickens. You're right. Where the hell's the rooster? I've seen a single one of the black ones. We had no. eight of those. Holy shit. Did we actually get smoked that bad last night? The rooster's gone. Jiggins has gone. And There's the, very few red ones left, too. I was going to say, and they, they could, I mean, they're spread out. They roam pretty far, so we'll have to check. I'll have to check tonight, you know, once they all come back to their their coop but we've got to get hella traps like like a lot of traps and i need to try and uh basically shut the door on the coop at night obviously now that the uh the raccoons have gained some confidence yeah that's yeah, i saw some feathers right there that's the tip of his his little thing on his, his head. little mohawk yeah oh yeah his mohawk rip dude we don't have a single black one left there's like two red ones and jiggins we, we might have lost stolen. we might have lost a dozen chickens I mean, this is not good, boys. Yeah, I'm see, I see some ripping around. There's some under the trailer. I mean, the only way for us to know is we'll have to come back tonight, and uh, I need to lock them up for one. Yeah. We I mean, I bet this freaking ditch, I think this ditch is full of them. So, we, we, you know, we're thinking it's the raccoon. Raccoons are like 98% of our problems most of the time, that and owls. But we do have, remember Garfield? We have Garfield running around, which you never know what Garfield's up to. Garfield could be in here freaking raising hell, okay? Uh, and then the black cat, he also could be coming in here. A lot of you guys have commented that feral cats and, and it probably wouldn't take down a full chicken. I don't know. Gar Garfield's freaking big. I mean, Garfield damn near looked like a mountain lion. So there's, there's a chance. The only red one I see left. That, that guy right there. Yeah, rip. All right, so we got a big problem now. I told you when we moved in, it was only a matter of time before Raccoon Alley became Raccoon Alley. Again, we're assuming it's raccoon. So what we're gonna have to do is we've got some trail cameras. We have a ton of traps. I mean, we'll probably set at least a dozen traps. Uh, but the good news is the trapping here should be pretty easy. You pretty much just line this freaking road. Yeah, see this. one got got right there. All the way down. We'll freaking dog proof the hell out of it. Pretty much all the way down. So the only thing, what we'll do is we should just dog proof it and then we should probably get some cage traps out because if it's a cat, yeah. we won't catch them in the dog proof. But we can put the cat traps up against the fence, maybe like around the bend as they're coming in. We can try try to trap the cats. We'll also just put cameras out so we can see hopefully what comes snooping around. We do have camera footage of raccoons running up and down this. So that's our, our suspect number one would in fact be the raccoon. But we got to check. I better check on our freaking rabbit. Make sure nothing. Try to get him. Theo! You're alive, Theodore. Hi, Theodore. No raccoons got you, huh, buddy? No, sir. You kicked the hell out of a raccoon, wouldn't you? Look at these big ass ears. Sheesh. Hi, Theo. You munching some of this nice grass, buddy? You want to bite, Theo? You want to nibble, Theo? We got to get Theodore some carrots. I keep yeah. forgetting. He needs some, like, one of the big fat oh, carrots. Hey, buddy. Hey, Theo, you settle down, buddy. Well, the good news is they didn't get Theodore. The bad news is they may or may not have taken out half our flock of chickens, which is not good. We were relying on those chickens to lay eggs. They also ate the eggs. Uh -huh. Son of a gun, man. They're fully it's in the house. This is personal. Should we, what do you think if we get in a ghillie suit and I climb in the tree, let them get in the hen house, we shut it, just go in there. drop the weapons in just one <laughs> on one. Let them freaking have it, dude. I'm down. I, like, this is personal. Yeah, I'm down. I want to scruff a coon and just 
bang. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, get the hell out of the hen house and just yeet his ass. It's for, hey, how you guys doing? I don't think a raccoon's gonna mess with these guys. No. You been seeing any of these raccoons? You been protecting the flock? The rooster? That was Brooklyn's chicken. Her, her it was her rooster. Jiggin's gone. And Jiggin's gone. Her big blonde the, one. The big buff one. Every black one is gone. We had like eight. I of mean, those. you're right. We really did lose. A, as far as what we've seen, you're not. I mean, I'll be honest. I've gotten word that there's been some chickens up down yacht. Like, there's a chance, especially if they got freaking smoke last night. Yeah. There's a chance. They whew, yeeted. They're gone. We'll come back tonight and check check them out. But see, if, we might be out of donuts for these guys. They might have a. Might have a honey bun. You guys need a honey bun? There you go. Oh, oh donuts. we got some donuts. I think we come up. We came up with a name. Well, you guys came up with the name. Little and Debbie. Yep. <laughs> I think Little's this guy because he's little, actually a little. Little. Hey, hey, big Deb. Come here, Debra. Take it. There you go. It's little Debbie, because that's this is. Hey. Little. Hey. No. You missed it. Here, here you take one right here. Right here. Right, right, are you blind? Ow, god dang, son. When are you guys popping them babies out? I definitely think the orange one, Debbie, she's yeah. de she's definitely pregnant. She's lost. She's gotten a lot bigger. Little, on the other hand, little still little. Hey, little. Hey, there you go. Things aggressive. Whew, golly. Man, I just, I'm, I'm just dumbfounded. Like, I just, I am just, I'm at a loss for words with these freaking raccoons, assuming that they are raccoons. We don't know. Like I said, we made one video where we lost just one single chicken. You can't tell me it's a coincidence. The big animals go out to pass. You can fly? Why didn't you just fly away? If they can fly, just go fly. I haven't seen a raccoon fly before. Fly away. We let the big animals out, the raccoons come in. So, here's what I'm thinking. A lot of you guys might be saying, well, Flair, let the big animals back in. We gotta trap them. So we gotta let them think. Hey boys, ding, ding, ding. Buffet's open tonight again. And all they're gonna find is freaking hella traps all the way through. I'm gonna come in and put a piece of wood, some type of board in front of their door access. So they're gonna be come looking around and there'll be traps. In the morning, I wanna see 27 freaking raccoons. Yep. Just chained up and then just crack, 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 crack. You know what I'm saying? Yep. We, we have no sympathy for these raccoons. You start taking my chickens, you start taking my eggs. I'm hungry, damn it. I wanted an omelet this morning. Yeah, this is personal. All right, well, let's get set some traps. We ain't messing around now, boys. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve traps. Dog proofs. We'll have to go back and get some cage traps. Uh, they were not in the shop, but we got all these. We've also got some cat food that they seem to like. The other strategy we had was, these were from yesterday, although I don't want to sacrifice an egg. These would work good instead of a golf ball yeah. on top, especially because they're freaking, they're hungry for the eggs. Yep. Also, I think if we put these out and then put the cameras on them, you're gonna know really fast Which ones are what's eggs? actually yeah. coming versus if we just set traps everywhere, they're just gonna beeline for the chickens. But if we can kind of basically bait them with these along the way, I think we'd be better off because if you immediately see Garfield out here, uh -huh. I don't know if it's a neighbor's cat or not, but you're gonna get got, buddy. Like, we ain't got no tolerance for chick killers. So, here's what we got dangling. A bunch of dog proofs. So these are exactly what they sound like. They're dog proofs. The dogs cannot get them. These ones are actually really easy. I will say these things break a lot, but these ones, you just give her a squeeze and she's set. I mean, it's literally that easy. So, one spot, this could be a really easy one right here. Take it and you press it in the ground. Nice and all the way down. Just like that. And then we'll take, so we can do eggs. And we also a lot of times use golf balls. The golf balls, what they do is one, it's a visual, meaning like the raccoons see it pretty easy. Two, it keeps the mice from going in and eating the food. Mice will go down there, eat all the food and get out without tripping the, the, the trigger. And you're gonna be like, what the same hell happened? That's what happened. So take our, actually this is chicken flavored. Let's go. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so you take this, fill it up like that. You can throw that on there or I think a better idea. Unfortunately, we gotta sacrifice some. But these, oh like yeah, that. it's just a buffet of. I feel like they're just they're, they're just gonna eggs. be like, oh man, they made it, they, the chickens lay the eggs out here. Then they grab it, they eat the egg, they sniff in there, it smells like chicken. Reach in there, bam, get got. We come down there, pa pa pa. That's the plan. So we got a dozen of these. We're gonna string out all the way down the freaking road, all the way around the coop. We're gonna show these predators no mercy. Stay tuned.
we got this place under surveillance now, okay? We've got trap, we've got trap, we've got trap, trap, trap. We got trap down here. And the reason why we put it down here is we started to look down in this mud and just so happened to see some raccoon and coyote. And maybe bobcat between, between the few, uh, several critters. Uh, that one looks more like a more like a kitty cat. So they're walking this creek, and yeah, and there's some feathers. So and we realized our rooster is Brooklyn's rooster. He got KO'd as well. We found his carcass way down. I mean, these guys had these guys going crazy. We got trap there. We got another trap here. I mean, like I said we absolutely littered this place with traps. Like so we put eggs on. We got another trap right here. Basically, we wanted to do it around the coop, but primarily make sure we trap them before they get to the coop. We got another trap there and there. And we found Brooklyn's rooster. He's right back down there, right next to another white chicken. But here's his gray feathers. Right there, there's another pile of gray feathers right there. So we got a trail camera right there to see what comes back. And then there's a white one down there. Yeah, we lost, i say over half our flock last night and uh, it's not looking good. Uh, like I said, it was because of the big animals. Now, like you said, you might be saying, we'll let the big animals back. Two reasons I don't want to do that. One, I want them to keep grazing where they've been grazing because this is actually growing back really well and I want it to keep growing back for now. Uh, two, we want to encourage the predators to come back uh, so we can kill them, basically. Uh, so we don't have to even worry about them in the future. We can just basically wipe them out and call it a day. So we have surveillance everywhere. We have surveillance inside the access for the chicken coop. Uh, we've got cameras everywhere, traps everywhere. And like I said, tonight, I'm gonna come lock up all the chickens 100%. Uh, that basically whatever stays in the, in the coop, we'll lock them up. And hopefully in the morning, we will have just an entire line of dancing raccoons. And then you guys know the deal, blinded by the light. Stay tuned. Well, 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 look what we got dang on here, folks. Okay, I am, I'll be honest, I'm not surprised. I knew this was going to happen, but golly, did we trap some raccoons last night. By the way, Saturday morning, still in the pajamas. Figured I better go give her the old wham bam. And boy, did we. We got one. We got two. We got this guy was trying to get inside the coop. That was the inside the coop strap right there. He's just hanging out. Not only that, that's three. Next to the chicken coop. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, we set a couple behind the coop. And look who we got dangling right there. Another one. So we got four raccoons around the chicken coop on night one. How does that make you feel? Do you feel good about yourself right now? Because, man, there was another trap out here. So make sure this one gets set. No. Nope. We didn't get we didn't get any more here. Remember, we have this whole fence line trap or set with traps. Look at that, buddy. One night, one night, four raccoons. Boys, you may have got some of my chickens, but I am going to win the war. OK, don't let anyone tell you any different, damn it. All right. If I was going to let you go, I'd say tell your friends. But we both know that ain't going to happen. Well, boys, I didn't want to have to have this happen, but Gotta do what you gotta do. And just like that, four chicken killing, egg eating raccoons are down. Let's go check the rest of the traps. All right, four down. I assume several to go. Four is really good though, in like a 20 yard radius. And it was all around the chicken coop, like, they were trying to eat the chickens and the eggs, no doubt about it. So that's an empty trap. Got another empty cage trap. We got another empty trap. This cage trap looks like it might be set off. That's an empty trap. Uh, let's see, do we have a cage trap? Oh boy, we got some more stuff. Oh, something got away over here. Hang on now. I think we done caught a possum's foot or something. Something got away with a boo-boo, right? Oh no, that's a mouse. Oh, rip! I think that's a mouse. And mouse really set that thing off, huh? That's gross. I don't see any more. There's one cage trap we gotta catch still. Uh, it doesn't look like there's much else. But down in the creek, remember the creek? Trap, the cage trap in the creek. Yeah, Mr. Possum. Let's go, Junior. Yeah, you know, this guy will also eat chickens and eggs. Typically eggs, they'll eat chickens too, especially if they team up with the raccoon family. And then obviously it's gonna be lights out. So we got a little possum, a little gremlin looking sucker. But I mean, t sometimes I release possums, I do. Depends on where they're at. If I'm not guarding livestock, 
I typically do. Now, some of you guys might be saying, well, we'll flavor out the turkey nests and, and the live. I get it. I mean, I know they eat ticks and stuff. I'm like 50-50 with possums. 100% to 0% kill the raccoons. The raccoons don't do any good for nobody. At least these suckers, they, you know, they eat ticks and little whatever grubs and stuff like that. And... I mean, typically, I don't find that they go and murk a bunch of chickens. They usually eat the eggs. They're called nest raiders. So, like, they'll eat, like, turkeys and quail and pheasant eggs. Either way, they're not really good. I think they probably do more harm than good. I usually find myself releasing them 50% of the time just to be nice. It just depends on the situation. Right now, after I've lost, you know, most of my flock, and we've only got a couple of these guys dangling around still, you guys know the drill. She gone. Shoo! Well, it's the next day, ladies and gentlemen, and it is time to check them traps. As you saw, we got four of them bad boys. Uh, done did up about right, and I'm looking. I don't see. Look right by the coop. There ain't nothing by the coop. We might have done did what we needed to do. That one right there, that is not set off either. Uh, let's see, we got this one right here. It's not set off. It looks like there's quite a few that are not set. I mean, so it seems like we might have done what we needed to do. I mean, you got. This guy right, Dale, you see any raccoons, Dale? All right, sounds good, Dale. All right, nothing here at this one, nothing at that one. Dang, did we, we not get none? That one, for, someone keeps setting that one off. Ain't nothing been in that one yet. And then, uh, looks like we got that, oh, that one, I forgot to reset that one. That's my bad, that's my bad. But this, why is this cage out in the middle of the road? Okay, so let me think about that. If the cage is in the middle of the road, that would have to mean something drug it out to the middle of the road but if they were in it i don't think they could drag it so i wonder if i wonder if on that guy right there yeah i wonder if they were kind of messing with it it the trap went off and then they just started tumbling it around and try to get that egg out of it that's the only thing i can think of uh why else i'm trying to think why else this thing would be would it be like oh shoot we got one hang on boys good look good look out look out hang on now hang on now look at him he's hiding you're playing possum. Look at him. Look at him. He's just sitting there. He ain't moving. He's at, he's he's literally playing possum. But you see this guy? This thing was up against that fence. Explain to me how this gets out in the middle. Was it you? Was it you? You son of a gun. I knew what you were up to. You were up to no freaking good is what you were up to. Yeah, you're trying to get them freaking chickens. I would I told you didn't learn from your four buddies last night? They didn't tell you, obviously. Uh the other one, I think there's a cage strap in the woods where he caught the possum. And that one looks like it's not set off. So I think we just got him. We got one. This is a full weekend of trapping, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. We're not just trapping one night and then ending the video. We're doing a full weekend. You guys saw Saturday morning. You, today is Sunday morning, and you're gonna see what Monday morning has to say about these guys right here. So we went from four the first night. From Friday night into Saturday morning and we only got one from Saturday night into Sunday morning so if we get none tonight feel like we've done some damage we've done what we need to do fingers crossed nothing else takes out our chick you guys already know what we gotta do with this guy blinded by the light today's not his day blinded by the light Shoo! alrighty folks morning number three and guess what what let's hear it what do you got to say you always got something to say Whoa, where'd that come from? Right over here. Stole it off, off the of there. Really? So he ate, ate the egg, left the food. They're getting smart. Really? So we, oh, I see another egg down there. So he didn't eat them all, no. but yeah, you're right. Most of them don't have eggs anymore. Ralphie, what you doing, big boy? You see any raccoons, Ralphie? Well, as you can see, we let the big animals back on this side. Last night I came down here and did that, and we didn't catch any raccoons. So it tells me one of two things. One, we caught them all. Two, we see some. The turkey's in its nest. That one just came out of it. There's another oh, one in. Is the he breath. sitting back there? He's in the oh yeah, that second one's in there. We got to get a male because then they'll start hatching these suckers. Anyways, it tells me one that we killed all the raccoons and there's none left. Two, letting the big animals out made sure the raccoons don't come back, which is what our problem was to begin with. We took Big Boy Ralph. Okay, all the big animals went out there for a couple days. Boom, chickens are dead. We bring the animals back, no more dead chickens. You might be wondering how many chickens do we have left? Not many. Not many at all. I see a couple in the woods. I see a couple under the trailer. I see a couple over there. I mean, we're less than a dozen, and I think at one point we had 40. So uh, they took out quite a bit of them uh, to the point where we're going to probably have to replenish our stock, and we got to start cracking down on these raccoons. The good news is these traps right here, we're going to put golf balls on them so they're, it's more of a permanent setup. 
and pretty much just leave them out here at all times. Uh, that way, if anything wants to come by, odds are they're gonna get trapped and hopefully the new batch of chickens we get will stay in the enclosure. We'll train them to stay in their coop, stay in the enclosure and don't free range. But I would say a fairly su successful trapping adventure, especially just for a couple days. I mean, four in one night, you saw them going in there trying to get all squirrely, okay? Uh, and then the next day, an possum, and then the next day I caught the guy, he was right here, he was hanging out, and then this morning, nothing. So uh, I would say it was a success. These freaking raccoons, man, they're freaking relentless. Just see, we think right now we won the battle. They won the first battle, I won the second. The real question is, who is gonna win the war? Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and peace.